There is a loss of jobs in South Africa. In fact, from a load shading to job shading. I must call a pastor to take you out now. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, the people of South Africa, Africa, and the world. My name is Titus Tungur Kotsaram Senbonatualeka, and today I bring you the special edition of the EFF podcast. Uh, where we reflect on the life of uh, the late uh, Moshe Mpasele, uh, the former uh, Deputy Secretary of the EFF in the Johannesburg uh, region. He was also a PR counselor. So to make sense of the life of uh, fighter Mpasele, we are joined in studio by Commissar uh, um, Trini Twaku, uh, who's the MMC in the city of uh, Johannesburg. You work along uh, the slain fighter, Moshem Pasele Mohaha. What do we know about the passing, the tragic passing of um, Mohaha? No, thank you very much, Titus. Um, at this point in time, what we know is uh, <coughs> that there was a uh, Councillor Mpatlele mm -hmm. uh, was leading a peaceful uh, protest mm -hmm. uh, of the occupation of the containers. They call them TR transit residence units. Those units were built uh, three years back during COVID time. And uh, they've been standing vacant for a very long of time since COVID times. They have not been used. They do last one three to four years. Mm -hmm. So um, there were people that were there um, that occupied those uh, uh, containers for some time. And because, you know, in Alex, it's really congested and people, they, 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 they don't have housing. Mm -hmm. So those people, they were, they were evicted by Josh Cole and they were put on the side of the road. Um, all their belongings were outside and all of that. We tried to really assist, uh, mm -hmm. seeking, you know, bringing relief and all those things. And then we've been engaging George Cole, I think the city manager at some point got uh, involved in terms of that, that. Let's give these people accommodation mm -hmm. and all of that. <clears throat> so the people, they've been trying and reaching out to George Cole officials. They even went to court, high court, to force them to go to bring them mm -hmm. back. Then they reached out to Councillor Mpatle. And then he issued the thing, there was an announcement, in, in there's got a WhatsApp group, an announcement that there's going to be a meeting. Mm -hmm. There's going to be meeting those uh, community protesters mm -hmm. to, uh, so that they can discuss what is the issue. And then the meeting happened. And then there was a decision that he must go the following day and uh, do his oversight and check because he needed to check if everything is proper, um, housing, car, uh, habitable, and all of that, so that he's able to get to George Co and you know and push for these people to be put in there. Mm -hmm. So that day came, and we received. I received a call because I was in the funeral. Mm -hmm. In, in, in Kokstad, but I was that time on Sunday on my way back mm -hmm. for the funeral was on Sunday of Fight on my way to. So he called me, I didn't hear the phone, then I picked it up. So I, and, and I, I didn't hear the phone. So I saw his message that, uh, uh, Commissar, please call me back. Uh, we need your assistance. Mm -hmm. And then I called him back. I asked him, what's the problem? He said, no, uh, he's, uh, he's just taking a revolutionary duty upon himself to assist the people that were thrown outside by Joshko and put them into those containers. Mm -hmm. And also for him to do the oversight first before even uh, allocate them. Because, you know, the community, uh, you know, the struggles, they, they, you, they're un, you know, unpredictable because mm -hmm. uh, people, they want... They're homeless. They're homeless. Mm -hmm. So he was there in the forefront and in the community and we discussed that, okay, no, 
Nchana, let's uh, let's do it this way. Ne? Um, I, I said, oh, is there a problem? I said, no, no, it's not a problem. We are fine. Uh, we, the, he came in the morning, um, about eight, nine-ish, roughly. And then he spoke to the security there on site. And then after that, uh, the, the, the security called for backup mm-hmm. and brought in extra two securities, which were special operations. And and that special operation also had a, a a pops vehicle, which is a public order policy. That's mm-hmm. what it's, uh, that's what the committee is saying to me now. Mm-hmm. And then while we were talking and all of that, they said, "No, no, we're fine. Um, we are with JMPD here, and also we've got the private security that is here." And he says, "No, no, I want to uh, check these uh, containers and." And see and over and, and check them out. Do my oversight and check because there've been claims that these big people are they, it's been vandalized, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. and also I want to check if that in, in, they are habitable and our people can be allocated here, and all of that. That you know, okay, that that's fine, Mchan. What you can do ne, is that uh, you know, uh, he says no. Uh, it's fine. Uh, uh, that, in, that it's fine. Let's let us what we must do. Because these colleagues, we know them. Let us approach the MMC for for housing tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That will be on Monday. And then also, what we need to do is that also on the Coca site, there's that motion that we must allocate. And that is Sunday. That's Sunday. Mm-hmm. And he said, "No, that's sharp, Commissar. It's fine." He was in a jovial mood. It was fine. Yeah. Problem? Like no problem Public free. Is, yeah. yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. He said, "No, it's fine. No, I understand, the Commissar. No, no problem." No, they said, is everything fine? Said, no, what we want to do now is that we just want to do to check because these people are saying that we've been vandalizing. Remember, this has been going since in the morning, 10, 11 ish. Now it's about one, one ish, one, one, two, roughly around there. Mm-hmm. People are still there. You can hear the noise. There's no rowdiness, just talks of people. Mm-hmm. So they say that, um, so this went on. So at about four ish, and there's been up and down, said, look, can we allow us to go inside and do our oversight and check what's happening because mm-hmm. it's okay. We want to check now because you've been accusing us that we have vandalized. We want to go and check mm-hmm. if there's any vandalization. But they entered and checked and there was nothing at all. So he said, okay, fine. They they elected three people. He himself was leading that, that crew. Mm-hmm. So they, they they elected three people, which is Mpatele and other two community leaders to go and check and verify. Yeah. Uh, about three rich now, later, three or four. So you can see the footage. And Patele is sitting there, uh, relaxed, waiting. Yeah, cooling uh, the residents uh, cooling. to order. Yeah, but that time it was uh, 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 many people that have taken the, that, that footage. They said that that was actually a few minutes before the private security discharged that grenade and started shooting at people. Mm-hmm. And that looked peaceful. That looked peaceful. None whatsoever. Even the statements that we got from the community leaders. And they said, no, we were peaceful. There's nothing we're doing. And because we don't want, they said, community people, they said, leader, they said, no, we don't want to destroy what, the places where we're going to be staying in. What will be the problem of vandalizing it? Because we want to stay here. Mm-hmm. So they were very peaceful. So what caused this mayhem is that the, the 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 private security discharged the the the, you know, the stand grenade and uh, and then from there there was a mayhem everywhere people were being shot with rubber bullets mm-hmm. now according to the witness that we were that were or that was interviewed by the IP I was there mm-hmm. is that uh, when that when that stun grenade was thrown in, uh, Mpatele was shot here next to this area here. Mm. He was shot next to here, and then he got disorientated. That's the first one, and that has with been live ammunition. No, no, with uh, with the rubber bullets. Rubber bullet. Okay, and that was confirmed by the autopsy that was done, the postmortem that was done by the uh, by the forensic mm-hmm. pathologist. Uh, yesterday, half past eight. When I met them late today, they just gave me a brief. When we were going on site, he said, no, but he was sitting here. And then the community said, no, he was shot here, in this area here. And then, but, oh, okay, we were wondering, what was this mark here? He had a, a mark here. Mm-hmm. 
we saw that uh, his was has been shot by the rubber bullet. And then, buddy, and then he ran behind a guardhouse. Those are the people that were with him. He ran behind a guardhouse, trying to hide from what was happening that side. Mm-hmm. And then he started running because he could not get out of the gate because it was closed now. The other people had been pushed out. He was, he was there with, um, you know, it was not actually closed per se, but just half closed per se. But then when the people they were running, there was a pregnant woman that was also being shot at. Mm. Disgraceful. With rubber bullets. And, I mean, that, that was not making sense. I mean, why would you shoot a pregnant woman with the rubber mm. bullets? It's insane. So he ran, the the, 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 the statement of the community that they said, so he ran um, and climbed on top of the transformer mm-hmm. to jump over a boundary wall so that he can go outside. But they said that they, they, they found that when he was running, because remember now you got a sound of the rubber bullets, then they were like, now there was a, also a sound of shooting. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a different gunshots. Mm-hmm. And then he jumped over the, the boundary wall and he was, the, 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 the blood was pouring out from, they said from this area, like from this waist. Because he has been shot. So you, he has been shot multiple times. Uh, no, it, what we see that there's the, the the autopsy is that it showed that there's the, if you the you know you know the trajectory, it was that if the bullet went in, but then they then they, they found that now when they were verifying and and checking now where's the bullet on that they could not find the other bullet inside the meaning that it has went in past his body, so it went right from the left hand side. The, the Lord, they said that the, the angle which it, it penetrated, mm-hmm. it was if he was in a higher position, another person was in a lower position because it penet- it went from his left hand side, leg, and went co- went went through his groins, and then out. Mm-hmm. And then he was bleeding. That so actually explains the bleeding. Wounds, the one on the head and the one on the head. yeah. The other one is was the rubber bullet one. Okay. The other the one was one. the live one. Oh, okay. And then the blood was coming out. Proficiently, you know, they said that the people were on the other side when they saw him jumping over. He, he, he jumped, and then he was crying, "Help me, help me! I've been shot!" Crying, and then he walked a few meters, and then the blood was just coming out because remember this area that that's where your, your vein is. Mm, it's a very dangerous area. Mm-hmm. It means that you see that the person was shooting in that area there. Now that he knows that those are one of the dangerous areas you can shoot at. When we when we, we look at the, these um, shootings, assassinations, and uh, heats and everything, these other people get hit here. Mm-hmm. You just put here or here, or they put this side here because that's where your your thing is. You know, you've got these arteries mm-hmm. coming through. So he bled to to death. So he ran onto the street, and then he fell. The blood was coming out there. You can see now there's a footage that shows that that, that shows him lying on the floor. And then the community members took him in the car and they trying to they ran to the clinic, but they said that on his way to the clinic, there's other uh, lady called Ukopan who has been a community activist there. Mm-hmm. He said you could see his eyes like rolling up and down. He said, Even mm-hmm. I can't breathe. And that was the end of him. By the time they went to the clinic, he he, he actually was declared dead. Mm. And that time, when I got a call, it was about six, half past six, years, roughly. Actually, I got a message. Then I called Gopan. What's happening? What's happening? He said, no, Commissar, we're at the clinic. And Pakele is no more. I said, no, I'm coming, wait. Then said the other people were shot. It was not him at all. The little boy, 16, who was, he was trying to assist the pregnant woman. Mm-hmm. He was trying to assist the pregnant woman. And he was shot. That's how he got shot, close to his heart. But luckily, he, he, he survived. Mm-hmm. He was in a critical condition, but he's stable now. That's the boy that was taking pictures. Mm. So with um, Patel's phone. So Patel's phone, uh, might be able to unlock us in terms of 
what has been happening was he's been the one that he's been taking footages and pictures when Patlebe is speaking and whatever is happening. Mm -hmm. That phone we handed over to the IP yeah. for analysis. Mm -hmm. And we, we heard that the following day that there's been there's been meetings and there's been people looking for that phone. And that and then I said, can it be handed over? Because we don't want any other uh, death that can happen among the, the committee members. Mm -hmm. So he was declared dead. And then I asked, what is what is so painful about this? Uh, is that I I I sent a message to the HOD and also to the chief of police that there's been a shooting and a counselor of the year, uh, the, the counselor has passed on and it's his his face is motion partly. Are you is anyone aware of this thing? What happened? Can I get a report? Mm -hmm. JMPD. JMPD. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a report. The region that is responsible for that didn't give a report. They said that there was no, no there, there, was, there, there was no no fatalities. Mm -hmm. I said, well, but I'm telling you right now, there's a fatality and there are injuries. There are a lot of people in the clinic that have been shot with other bullets. Who's writing a report? Where's the Amar? No one. So wait, were the JMPD officers at the scene? Did yes, they were at the scene. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so remember, I said that at the beginning, we had the private the security that was mm -hmm. there. It it was talking to Mpatlele. Mm -hmm. and then after that, they they called for we backup. Mm -hmm. Of the, and then another private security arrived there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then also JMPD mm -hmm. arrived. Sebs? No, Sebs. Sebs. They, they they were called later when, when that, that incident actually mm -hmm. happened. Okay. They were called and called because they didn't come through. But just after those incident, when there was a rush, rush, and then also we had to make some couple of calls when I was there. Then they they came mm -hmm. ultimately. Um, but not on that scene. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, you remember when I said that procedurally, when law enforcement arrives on the scene, they take over. Mm -hmm. So JMPD should have taken over the scene and not allowed the private security to, you know, to manage the scene and or to do anything. And the private uh, uh, security, according to the statement, that they would not do anything without the authorization of the police. So the question that I asked that who authorized that that the the people must be shot at? Mm -hmm. Who authorized that the the that um, the stun grenade must be must be thrown? So this, when we met with the security companies, with Joshko, uh, we were with with uh, MMC Mabaso and Joshko uh, and Joshko leadership, um, and uh, and the officials. Mm -hmm. They did narrate what I'm narrating right now. Then at the end, they saying that they were authorized by, by the JMPD, mm. which is by public or, or, or the police. Mm -hmm. That's what they wrote on the statement. So now the JMPD now we 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 we, we did not see that for now in their statement. Now the question that we are asking now through the IPRID and also being involved. That someone must confirm that they were given who gave the instruction for that. Because remember that if the JMPD gave instruction for that, then that's an illegal instruction. Mm. And which is very serious because now it's not even, uh, um, I mean, it's not that people show the bullets and this, there's, 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 there's this fatality. Mm -hmm. Someone must account. Mm -hmm. One life too many. One life too many. Mm -hmm. So summarily today, after gathering all the facts, because we had to work uh, around the clock. Since this thing happened, I barely slept because we had to go and, and, and get to you know, get into the truth. And whatever I communicate, you must know that it is actually based on the facts and the truth that uh, and the logic that you know we've established mm -hmm. myself in the office of the MMC. Mm -hmm. And then I can make a determination that I think that this is the direction that we must move. Mm -hmm. So we, so yeah, but but one of the things that 
um, that was very painful. Mm-hmm. Or I don't know. I'm looking for the uh, like disappointing. Yeah. Is that when this thing happened? No, no. My officers could not tell me what's happening. The region, which is responsible for Alex for reaching in, they couldn't tell me. That's number one. Number two, I had to tell them that there's there's that there's, there's fatalities. I told them myself, these are the following, and I'm here. The people have been booked here in this place. Number two, the scene was not secured. Why did my officer JMPD leave the scene without say, securing it? Where's the report? Mm-hmm. I asked that question. They were immediately convened a meeting at about half past nine. Quick, because I had to go to the site first to check what's happening. And then I saw that the, the scene was not so secured. I called uh, Major General Marshall quickly, urgently, please, can you send the, 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 you know, the CCRC guys uh, to, you know, to take pictures, so that the guys who take pictures who, who take evidence, take pictures and take samples everywhere, collect those, uh, you know, nama, take photos of the of the cartridges everywhere. Mm-hmm. And they came and secured the scene, but the scene was not secured, meaning that the, my officers, they abandoned post. Mm. They left, like, just like that. I said, I want accountability. Why did they leave it like that? No one said anything. Mm-hmm. And I even asked them that time, that, do you know how, what, what happened here? The, 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 the next day, you know, sometimes you give a benefit of doubt that they will tell you this is what happened. They don't even know. So do you know that there's Jeez, blood at the back there? Yeah. Do you know that the sequence of events, have you followed up? No one followed up. That's why now this thing yesterday, it reached a boiling point. They're saying, look, I can see there's some negligence here and people don't take this thing very serious. Mm-hmm. That's when I, in the meeting, I told them that if this needs be, that now, uh, um, uh, we, we must take uncomfortable de- decision and become radical. Mm-hmm. People are going to be fired here. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make them, to get them fired because I thought that they would cooperate and take this matter very serious. That's mm-hmm. why we, um, we we spoke with the with the HOD and they met in the morning with the, along with the CM mm-hmm. to suspend all those, all the officers, starting from the rich in E, uh, a soup that was there, mm-hmm. must go. And this team, mm-hmm. And also that the pop, that the pops, the public order bull police, mm-hmm. that was there as well. That has, because the committee is saying that the, the, the public order police, when before the, the discharge of the tank grade by the public, by the, by the public security, they went behind the security. What kind of police is that? What kind of instruction is that? And I told them that because based on this these facts and evidence that I'm hearing here and the statement that are coming in, these people must just uh, be suspended, go to IP and focus on this case. This is statements. direction of duty. Yes, direction of duty, mm-hmm. abandoning post. Mm-hmm. They don't know anything about what happened there. I can't have a people of that nature. I can't. Absolutely. If it means that they can say that I am oh, um, I'm, I'm overreaching I'm the political head, let the administration to do the process. That no process unfold yet. Those God guys must go. It's going to be the then every day to check every time. I said must be given a report now. Their letters must be coming out. Yeah, they must go. Mm-hmm. So that but uh, they must be suspended with the defect. But the IPD we've been in touch with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the case is moving. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm I'm satisfied at this point in time. And yes, today they. Wanted to uh, to interview two more people because now, uh, after they discharged those uh, uh, the stun grenade and also be shooting at people, the Nyala went out and still went around shooting at people. That's what the the the, 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 the Nyala the, of the private security. No, the the, Nyala, the, the Nyala now mm-hmm. of the of of the of of of, Eland, uh, of, of uh, EJMP came out oh, and then. Okay. There were like there was a shooting of people and all of that, like with the stand grenades, uh, with the with the rubber bullets. For the why, I don't know. Because this is this was supposed to be a peaceful march. Exactly. And there's all indication that this was yes not violent at, at any given time. Now, do we know at this point in time as to who 
fired the shots that uh, took fight and Patrick's life. No, at this point in time, we uh, the, the, the the police, metro police, and uh, private uh, securing the, the guns have been taken for ballistics to test, um, you know, if they 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 they, 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 they have used their guns. And then we've asked also for the they call it the issue card. Mm -hmm. They mustn't give us guns that you know were, were not issued on that day. Mm -hmm. So we asked for the security to give them that. So ballistics are going to be dead, are going to be checked. And one of the one of the uh, uh, things that they did not do, I mean, for like call it the duration of duties was to secure the site because immediately when you hear that shots are fired you need to secure the site and look for the the you know look for the cartridges mm -hmm. so since they, they have not secured the, 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 the sites main cartridge cartridges where they were found mainly on site are the cartridges of Elan, e, e, you know of, of the rubber bullets mm -hmm. but even in the in the, the transformer there, if you look, there is a sort of a a bend, like a hole. It's not bent. It's not bent yet, bent yet, but you can see that there's a, a shape mm -hmm. right there, the, the, that the bullet hit there. Yeah, at the and end that means that, so Yes, so and yeah. So there were two. You see that you can probably see that there were two shots. That uh, one shot got him um, but the other one he just missed him because. And then also maybe you can determine maybe there was a, there were two shooters. There was one that got him when he was maybe around the the, the guard house. And then there was another. While he was one. running, he was away. running away. But still, they were shooting. They were shooting. So, but that's the. Uh, uh, that, that is what we think that might have happened because when we're trying to piece these pieces together, mm -hmm. but you can't separate him the fact that Mpatele was in in the in, in the premises of the containers because I can see that the statements which are being made when they are saying that no shots were fired, that's it. And then after that, there was nothing. So there is an attempt to take him away from the scene mm -hmm. because remember that he jumped over and then he was taken by the communities to the hospital, <coughs> mm -hmm. but the blood samples and the blood stain that are there, they are an indication that he was there and he was shot in the premises of the containers. So there's that move, that is that. So we've got the CRC doing that, checking that. They will do that blood analysis to link him to, uh, to link that blood to him, to mm -hmm. So in that, the, the shooters were actually in the yard, inside the tier containers. Who those shooters were, where, we don't know. Community members are also saying that these securities, there were two quantums which came in, in there as well. They started mingling with this security. And I asked them who were those quantums? Were they having? They were not having uniforms. Some were private individuals and all of that. Mm -hmm. They are not. That's fine. Uh, we'll get the details from the security company. Who were the other people that came in? There were two quantum that came in on the other side mm -hmm. while they were protesting on the other side. So, um, so the matter now is with the IP. On our side, the, the security that is there has been removed. All the security is there. They've been removed. After the memorial service there, the community could not, uh, I mean, uh, take the, 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 you know, the pain that Mpatele is, uh, is no more. They went back to occupy those, uh, those containers. They are occupied now, as you speak. Mm -hmm. The community has taken over those containers and those uh, securities um, are out. And, um, and also, I even indicated to the mayor that because it's a crime scene, we cannot have the same individual that are implicated on this matter a and then still be in the premises. Mm -hmm. They must go. So I separated that, that move that these people, they must go. Mm -hmm. uh, but the community, they took it upon themselves. But these people must go. We will protect this uh, um, container, uh, this container world. I was there just now doing you know, the press conference. It's, the community is there like in numbers. They're not even vandalizing. They're just sitting very nicely. There are many of them, even triple the number of South Sunday. The question I want to ask my guys, 
in the in, in the private, you know, this is security. Why the aggression? What led them mm-hmm. to to be so impatient and start mm-hmm. throwing a matan great peaceful heavy. guys? Yes, mm-hmm. trigger heavy. You know why is that? Because when we arrived, um, when the EFF d- deployed me in that in that public safety, mm-hmm. we draw our you know we, 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 the approach of public safety has been very clear. One is it's an open and accountable and corrupt free state. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so people must be accountable. There must be no corruption. Mm-hmm. That's what we are trying to do now. Cardinal pillar number seven, mm-hmm. and the one that we highlighted most. That's why, ever ever since we've entered in the public safety, there has been no incidents of violence. How many protests do we have of light, water, everything? There have never been any incidents that people have been shot. They've been killed by by pop, by JMP people. There's none. None whatsoever. You you can name this. There have been load shedding, load reduction. There's been water shedding everywhere. Mm-hmm. People were outside. Mm-hmm. People were been protesting. Mm-hmm. But they know that when we arrive, we're saying that, number one, we want a police force that is patriotic. That's what I said. Patriotic police force. Not people who are trigger happy or, you know, uh, um, not people that, that, that you know, they, 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 they don't like their country and their mm-hmm. people. They just see people as, as as dogs when when they are you know they, they they protest. That's if you look at the first document that I read, I even published it out. That is the approach of this of this department. Mm-hmm. And for the longest of time, there've been land occupation. I said when you see a land occupation, you need to engage the people. Mm-hmm. Don't start trying to shoot people. They're randomly as if they're dogs. That's why there's been engagement. There's been people will hold back. They said, go and get the leader, what's the problem, and then bring it to JPC, ask about whose land that belongs mm-hmm. to. Let's call the owner of the land, and let's call it even if it's JPC or whatever. Let, let them engage with the community and then bring it to to, to you know to, to the city so that people are able to be allocated land. There have been engagements everywhere when people they like to attempt so that and I said, be very, very uh, things linear. You remember the time when we arrived, there were also bylaw when people they were being all their oranges were being taken aggressive. If you remember at the beginning when we arrived, with EFF. then we we issued a statement and we we I've issued a communique that we need you don't just take those uh, you know fruits and of, of the apples of the hawkers. You need to engage with them. What is the issue? And if maybe this is not the right place, just take this thing, move them to a place where it's proper. It is allocated by the city. Don't take their stuff. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. That, that, then it, it never happened after that. It stopped. And even this one here, yeah, we said that the, the, the police, the police force under the EFF government must be um, patriotic, number two. Mm-hmm. Uh, it must be uh, it must be committed to the people. Mm-hmm. Uh, else it must never be used for any fictional uh, uh, battles. It must always be on the side of, of, of the people. Mm-hmm. Now, what happened on Saturday is something that we, I don't know. Something that was someone else uh, 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 actually uh, um, shows negligence, the election of duty. It, 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 it's, it's, uh, it's like individuals that don't belong in the, in the public safety. Mm-hmm. That's why that we issued that letter and also the meeting was held mm-hmm. by the HOT and the CM that the people who have done this thing must be suspended with immediate effect. They must go. And in fact, I don't want to see them in that department. Mm-hmm. Must do everything those yeah. people. If it means that we must fire them yeah. at the end of this process, let it be. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that that can teach a, a, a lesson. With the, you know, when you when you are dealing with public, yeah. when you're dealing with people, you don't become trigger happy. Mm-hmm. You must respect the citizens. That that incident there, it, 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 you know, it led us to a loss of one of our dedicated fighters, a friend and a brother. And the whole, uh, I mean, the whole community of Alex, not even, not even, not, not only EFF leadership or from the commander-in-chief down to the branch level is very saddened and, and, and you know, um, and shattered by what happened. Mm-hmm. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. That company, the mm. security company, who's mm. paying them? And if it's uh, government or the city of Johannesburg, mm. 
is there if they have any existing contract um what is your your your, your approach on that mm. do you strongly believe that their contract should be discontinued because surely the employees the security officers mm. did not also act on their own perhaps mm. there's somebody who has issued an instruction what is mm. your your approach on that look the uh, the securities that are guarding those container buildings and trash core mm-hmm. housing after they are completed or they, they guard the site is Joshko themselves. Mm-hmm. Remember, in the public safety department, the security is insourced. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yes, and then when we arrived, we found that some mandate of public safety have been decentralized to entities. Entities, for some reason, when we arrived, they've been given mandate to have their own, you know, security. Mm-hmm. I wrote a report that time of which it was, it, it created a political storm in the in, in the Maycom, saying that we must centralize all security to public safety. Uh, it, it, it went and then uh, the, 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 the Maycom agenda to look in terms of how we're going to find each other's issue. I said, no, it's fine. Uh, at this point in time, we can operate the way we are, but uh, in the next financial year, we must start a, a talks and processes of of centralizing you know, the search because it's our mandate. It's like asking George Cole to do maintenance, whereas maintenance is a mandate of JPC. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, which is not right, which is not right. So people are taking mandates, passion mandates to do whatever they want to do. Now, that security there is a security of, a, of Joshko. Mm-hmm. And w- w- the, there's an investigation on them now in terms of, they will check in terms of their qualifications and, and all of that, if they are credible with CIRAs and everything. Because when I was there, some of them did not, not the one that was called for backup, but the one that was guarding there, they're, they're claiming that also is very, uh, is killing some live ammunition that you don't see the badge properly, not wearing properly, and they were always also wearing some para gloves mm-hmm. as Covering if they're hide covering their faces. Mm-hmm. Very dodgy. So that also has been reported to, to Sierra, the regulator, to, to look in, into that as well. And um, on that scene, all those securities, they are. Firearms has been confiscated by by IP to to check what is uh, uh, if the if the shots were fired by them. At this point in time, we we, we are really relying now on tests uh, in terms of who who fired the shots and and where because one we could not uh, on the scene they could not find the cartridge and two the bullet that went into Mpatlene mm-hmm. it went in on the other time and came out. So they did not, uh, we don't have that, the bullet. Mm-hmm. That is like the, the report now that we got after the, the, the autopsy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when we, when, we, when we went to the clinic, the, the, um, you know, it was, they the, 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 the had, had, had to do tests and yeah. look for bullets and everything. We asked the guy as well, they look, is the bullet still in that? No, it went in and out. And then partly they said, look, chances that it is, it is, it is inside there, um, but they still have to do x-rays and checks. Mm-hmm. And say so it is there, but when they now f- officially they did that and they they, didn't, they, they could not find that mm-hmm. uh, thing then. So yeah, yeah. So everyone have given statements to the IP. IP is in charge of this process. Then they are running with it. Mm-hmm. So on our side, as I stated, that we, I told them that the the officer that have done this. I must face the, the music. We're not going to. I'm not going to be colleagues on people. Who, I'm not going to be colleagues to murderers. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not at all. Yeah. So this matter is not going to rest up until something has got to give. Mm-hmm. Heads must roll, and as the head head has yeah. to roll, bro. The, the heads have to roll. Heads have to roll. Even if it's my project, I abandon all the other items I have to do. Mm-hmm. Then probably the the organization will not be able to. I'm going to abandon everything and focus on this because health has to roll. Because remember that if if the law enforcement behaves this way, it means that mm-hmm. all the other protesters are going to start shooting people. Mm-hmm. We must make an example of this one here. Of this one. And we owe it to Mpatlen. To remember his 
great smile when I was I was answering those things of uh, what is an activist uh, during you know this branch thing you know that actually still haunts me you know he smile when I was defining what is an activist mm-hmm. so every day now when I collect all those information and I said that no people these people have failed in Pale and I started to die inside of me for for a period of time last night mm-hmm. to say no but these people they yeah. really mm-hmm. this is nonsense it can't be when I woke up and then started hitting up at night with the letters and then called the the church he said no I'm now I'm definite I'm sure because I had to be sure what happened I just had not to accuse people on something they did not do how can you abandon how can you abandon a crime scene that does mm-hmm. what nonsense is that I've never heard it if people they want us to fight will fight now after you know he said maybe I, I, I'm taking too long and because I had to follow and check and satisfy myself Were you there? No, I'm not there. Okay. When it was four or five o'clock, why did you stay? Because there were people who had been shot there. Mm. Why didn't you stay and check? Okay, uh, you hear there, there are rubber bullets everywhere. I must call, um, yeah, I must write a report. I must call IP. I must call, you know, the, 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 the CRC. I must, you know, write a report. Why, when I arrived, there was no one, the site was not set as a church? While they are like that, while the committee members in statement, they're saying that some of the security people were wiping out evidence, moving up and down, and also cleaning out the, the blood. Yeah. That's Where was our people that time? Yeah. Why did they abandon the scene? Mm-hmm. That's when now, when I sit and I collect everything, and I said, no, but here. There's a foul play. What was Chuelaga Gobi like these people? Someone here must fall. Someone must take accountability. And the leadership, the, the people were there who should have known better. Mm-hmm. You can't even say that, Uti, when we're interrogating you, you're saying to us that shots came from outside. How do you know? I asked, how do you, know? do you think we're fools? How do you know about that? Mm-hmm. They said the shots came from outside. Who was shooting? And then, and then what? Mm-hmm. And then also we went outside and there was no one, there was nothing. So why couldn't the police or some of them look at the scene and secure the scene and, and you know, check, is everything okay? What happened after the mayhem? Yeah. You do, you shoot and you shoot, there's shooting everywhere. Then you pack up and go because you need to knock off at six. I told the chief, yeah. the motive of these people, whether they, they say it or not, is because they're knocking off at six o'clock. They always rush to leave. At five, the time Neglected I was doing operations on Zamazam, mm-hmm. the operation that I used to do on drugs and everything, we used to be fighting at about five o'clock because people, they want to leave. Some of them, by the way, uh, the, the, the acting HOD then was Andres Maku. Mm-hmm. I said that I'm there, we're removing, we're doing a disruptive operations, taking away Lama Zamazam. And when I look back, I didn't see those people who are cutting those things EMS who are cutting mm. but and then also when I look back I don't see any JMPD reaching but not the dead guy response but their response they, they they go in because they are the ones at the forefront of going in there but there are regional officers who are ensure that I mean they you know the, the region is functional they, they, they are assigned there so their shift is ending at six o'clock mm-hmm. and I said I bet to shift chief that's what we experienced there People are here in this in this JMPD just for salary. They don't love what they are doing. Mm. You have a man where people are being shot after you pack up and go. You leave all cartridges on the scene. Mm. And I'm the MMC. I'm the one who must run around and call a, a, a IP and call the foreign... It, it does not work like that. Something has got to give. Mm. Something has to... I'm not going to be leading people who are... Mm. Who, who, who don't we're love lazy. there, we're lazy. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. I told it. I said, this one, this one, this one, this one, it's my, it's my program of action. Mm-hmm. They must example. tell me, mm-hmm. and I'm going to follow up. They must tell me, it's not going to rest every day. I must report what's happening. Mm-hmm. Who's been of you? What are you doing now? Yeah. Heads must roll. People must go. I can't work with people like that. Yeah. They've killed the wrong one. And we've been saying that at some point that we don't have... The regions are sort of not functioning properly. 
because we're still getting complaints in terms of bylaws and and all those things. People are still calling office MMC. They're calling the, the you know, the the, the, the top brass mm -hmm. of JMPD. But what's happening to the people who are on the region? There we got seven regions, and they they've got a DD. Mm -hmm. They've got a chief soup and a soup. Of course, they've, then they've got uh, officers. They're about thirty to four. 30 to 60 of them, depending on the on the what. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So why after that data? In all that media, they they said that's why the speakers, you know, is the, the speaker is very passionate about this thing. Sure. It got the speaker very pissed off when they said that we did not know that there's someone passed on. You didn't know the fatalities. Because somebody do you are you of the view that somebody, obviously you have pointed out that somebody was trying to tamper with the cartridges and all of that. Are you of the view that there are, there could be officials that were trying to cover up and just to get away with uh, this matter? No, but remember that at that, that time, officer, they no knock off about six, six, uh, oh, six, six, seven. Big watch. Yeah, a big watch. Ah, they go. Do operations at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. When you look back, they'll be gone. They'll be gone. That was our next, now, our next day. Uh, uh, thing. So you see, when we came in, we had to deal with crime. We launched a tactical unit. And of course, we've had the, the deputy president that, you know, uh, we must really focus on those high murdering crime rates mm -hmm. and, you know, your CBDs and Hill Bros and um, your Honey Qs and all of that. Mm -hmm. Of which that is that is what we our main deploy is at. But you know some of the crime now, we, we must just be intelligent based because some of them they just happen inside people killing each other and you know some some and we don't even have cameras in that area there, but we saturated most of this area, especially the CBD, the hill bros and everything. Uh, so it's of course there there's still killings, but the, the crime now. So I need the guys at least they are very at the, at the forefront of mm -hmm. really working very hard. Mm -hmm. But we will look at, at, at what the, 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 you know, the debit president said. And probably we just have to take all now, since we don't have any crime, that, too much crime happening now at Deep Store. Remember Deep Store, there was lots of killing. Now it's mm -hmm. passivated. Mm -hmm. It's quiet now. We might take some of the resources and, and deploy in those areas so that we, at least the crime rate in certain areas, this high crime rate must, must actually go, go down. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that is the, the, the committee members are claiming that the security guys that were there, they were like, there was a lot of that, what seems to be that the people are, are looking for something and also some of them were wiping off that the, the, the blood. And well, that's a statement that has been given by the committee uh, members. Why are the people mm -hmm. moving up and down? Mm -hmm. And then why that uh, there's a lot of, uh, there was like you no know, cleaning of blood in it. Because when you even got there, you find that, I mean, there's no uh, uh, account. I mean, there was blood there. You can see that they, they put soil, we're putting soil there, whatever, you know. So my problem is that after the, after, because I had to go through this myself because the, the report I got, it was, Illogical. It does not uh, account these events properly. So I had a problem. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to take long. Said like, but I'm supposed to be hearing from the officers and take me into detail. And they take me on site. Said this is this, and I ask them what's the reason for the blood, what's the cartridge is here, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. But I could not get that. Mm. So no, we it was a shooting. Yeah. And then the community was shooting at us. Yeah. I said, how do you know? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, so there was an illogical explanation. That's why we had to go deep on Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, when Wednesday, yeah. I started to, to 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 piece the pieces together and also interacting with the IP. We went on site, we checked, and then and then also interacting with the with the, with the you know chief and yeah. and also interacting with other security uh, companies. Uh, you know, there are some of them that are dealing with the you know, uh, uh, by law enforcement uh, within the JMPD. Um, we, we, we will, you know, the, in terms of what are your, your jurisdictions, because we had to learn on this process as well. But hey, Nina, you were guarding there, because most of these ones, they're doing bylaws there. Mm -hmm. They, you know, so it, it's, it, it's really not, 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 not too hectic as yeah. compared to what happened. Yeah. So we, we managed to consult them and then, mm -hmm. and then they said, no, Tina, we act on the instructions mm -hmm. 
of the JMPD yeah. or the, the SEPs that is there. Mm-hmm. And then so the people who are there, directors, must answer who gave the instruction to release the that mm-hmm. stand grenade. Mm-hmm. If the security has just done on the owner court, of course, then that is a, a, it's a charge mm-hmm. immediately. Mm-hmm. And then after that, those who were there and they're watching, it did not stop. Yeah. They are accomplices. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they must follow. Yeah. yeah. Are there any arrests that have been made up to this far? And if so, do we know whether or not uh, fighter Mpasele was being targeted because we understand he has been in the forefront mm-hmm. fighting for the people of Alexandra, mm-hmm. particularly when it comes to the issues of housing and service delivery. Look, at this point in time, the, these IP investigators are on top of it. Um, um, we are helping themselves. Uh, the, we, we, we are actually helping them as well with the undercover unit um, uh, from the JMPD and, and the technical you know, uh, uh, reaction unit. They're the ones that are working on that. Um, by the way, what 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 people don't know is that this is a second killing for those containers. The first community leader was killed around the 15th of December. Then it was just now. He was leading the the struggle for those containers, okay. and then now this is what is happening to Umpale. So we're trying to put the pieces together. Is this a hit or not? And then according to some of the information that the talks, the, the, the you know, interviewing people, people coming forward, um, saying that there's a call that, that came in uh, just before that stand grenade uh, to saying that he must stop what he's, he's doing. And I remember even the committee, the committee member said that he... He told him that Empa, Empa, there's a, your phone is ringing, pick up. And then he just ignored it. Um, and, 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 and also there has been um, um, information that we are getting that say that uh, there are people looking for his phone and are willing to pay for it. Who are these people? Uh, I can't disclose them now. Mm-hmm. But the, the the police are aware. I said it's a matter of police. Uh, I'm not a police. The the police are um, that information. It was sent to Liabona to the police. Even the the phone has been sent to to, to the police because it will analyze what was the last call that came in, and also to analyze the video footage that that is actually there. There is there is a huge, the according to the communities there is a huge interest on those containers. Has a huge interest. Um, 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 imagine, I mean, other people they don't want to do it for the community. They want to put their own people and start collecting rent. Okay. Who's this got is, interest in this? This is this is what we've seen. Remember also a, a, a problem. One of our fighter uh, mm-hmm. in in Oliven, uh, who was assassinated as well. Well, he was actually led a struggle where he was mm-hmm. uh, allocating people, you know, the houses, mm-hmm. the people of the deep slot. So this is how, uh, you know, there are people that are, uh, have been interested on, on, on this. And, and, and at this point in time, we can't, we, we can't, we can't really disclose that what the matter is, is, is with the police. I'd rather not, not say it. Mm-hmm. Um, police are aware of it. And I said that, I must look into it, um, you know. So they are the one. The investigation is is with, with, with them. As far as we're concerned, we are waiting for those investigations to really happen. Mm-hmm. But the the people are adding, people are talking, and the things are are coming out mm-hmm. in terms of the probable causes and uh, the interests and everything. What they've yeah. been seeing, suspicious uh, cars, sus- people um, in the same. In the same uh, building, um, same you know se- security, um, saying words like you know, mm. on this place, you know, so mm. then, so and then also gun wielding people, uh, they've been showing them guns, you know. But remember, they've been sleeping there for five months. These people. 
and apparently they are alleging that the the people are claiming that the security has been very mean to them. They've been sometimes willing, you know, like wielding guns at them, you know. <coughs> so, mm-hmm. <coughs> so, yeah. so, so investigations are 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 going on to piece to 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 put the pieces to, to together. But mm-hmm. what we are not going to tolerate is the individuals which um, neglect, they neglect their their the, the, the duties. Yeah. duties. Yeah. At, at this point in time, uh, we have already alluded to the fact that the containers have been occupied by the residents. I would like to be the residents of Alexandra. Yeah. Now, what w- what would be in the best interest of the people of Alexandra, mm. and what is the amicable mm. solution um, that would ensure that there's peace and stability in that area, and those containers are occupied legally no uh, i can tell you now like titus like um, joshua has not gone on site not gone on site i'm not going to do that dirty work i'm not going to do that they've never been on site they don't care Mm -hmm. they don't care and all the other side they're not even those there are three of them there so they expect us to know that we must always stop the, the, the community which wants, you know, to uh, this uh, accommodation. Not even in Alex alone, even in Soweto. I'm not gonna do George Co work, dirty work. Why they're not allo- 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 allocating those things? I'm not getting a concise answer. As a public safety member said, but these things we've been told every single time. There's been request every single time that there must be allocation. The excuse is like the contract ended and there's no certificate of, you know, the COC for electricity and there's no certificate of occupation and all those kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I said, that's none of my problem. But there were people who were occupying there before that were staying and then they evicted them. Why when they were doing that, they did not quickly do these things and then after that allocate people uh, proper? Probably, yes. Uh, Josh Cole must go and cite there. People are there now. They are waiting for Joshko. There's no security. They're gone. And I said that those, there's no security that's going to come. Those guys that were guarding are not going to come there. That is a crime scene now. And it's surrounded and everything. They, they, they can't the same individuals come to the same spot. People now of um, of Alex and the people who were, who were fighting with Mpatele are there currently to speak. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, they occupied the, 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 the place. I hear and then they they have guarded the place themselves. They're not vandalizing at all. That's what I was saying. Even today, I had a press conference. Mm-hmm. Very peaceful. There were many, even there were like triple the number. Triple the number. 300 plus people there. Very peaceful. Not a problem. Not a problem. Why someone from, from our colleagues from the JMPD Allow such to, to really happen, and why that you know you know the you know the, the security through a, a stand grenade and shot at people. Mm-hmm. It's a matter they won't understand. Yeah, they were even close to the gate there. Mm-hmm. They're not even there, man. We were in Zindo Lababan. But I said that we're gonna do everything in my in my power. Really, for me, this is my my, my focus for the next the, the month or two. I have to get answers. I can't move now at all. I was looking at the issues of bylaws now. Yes, the bylaws they are they are restructuring on that. Mm-hmm. Crime we said okay, well, we are now uh, getting accountability because remember when we launched that unit, um, the this TRU, we 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 actually had to now do a change in my management within JMPD because JMPD has been used to traffic and bylaw. They have not mm-hmm. don't come. So we're working now on change management so that people can call when there's crime. Mm-hmm. So that probably can will take a foot a, a, a back foot, but of course it will go on because I told what I need. We're going to unleash all these plans from the first of September onwards because first of September, remember that's the time that you're gonna have see a lot of spike of, of uh, mm-hmm. uh, mall robberies, yeah. uh, cash in transits, and because people they are preparing for December. Mm-hmm. So when they start, we want to be ready. We know that we go to all those uh, these areas are. Mm-hmm. Actually, meant up uh, cars in each and every off ramp and all those things. Yeah. Now this now uh, from now on is actually taking a center stage because 
one thing that really pissed me off in that meeting, I found that well, the matter of Pantler is not being taken very serious. They think that maybe I'm joking or maybe I'm part of the system. I told them I'm not part of the system. Mm-hmm. I must know who am I. Before I became an, a, a thing is a, an MMC, I was the EFF member. Mm-hmm. They have never seen me when I'm a radical and militant. So now take out this nonsense and then after that we'll fight from Pantler. Mm-hmm. And any means possible. If it means that then whatever MMC that they don't do, then I'm, I'm in breach of MMC, whatever nonsense, and then I get fired. I don't care. But people must take this matter very serious. Extremely serious, because it's a matter of life and death. I'm not going to let it slide. Never. Absolutely. Never. You know, they just are saying that, because they thought that well, maybe I'm part of the system and I'm going to protect all the nonsense. I'm not going to do that. If, if, if I'm not being liked, then that, and so be it. That's why the letter went out to today and today the press conference saying that Guti, we've drawn the battle lines I've, I've drawn. No one is going to hide anything here. A life has been lost. That, that guy was, a, he was elected in, 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 in Alex. Not just a community. He was elected. He was a council member. And officers should have known better. This is a council. You don't touch that. Mm-hmm. They should have known better. And when they say stop, wait, they should have listened to him. Councillor, okay. They should have like actually yeah. shielded and all of that. Mm-hmm. They know those things. So someone somewhere faltered. Yeah. And that their heads must roll. If the heads have not rolled yet, I don't know. But someone must be held accountable. They have to be. The meeting every time open and welcome. And what is the thing? Is the status on Patel? How far is the matter of this individual? That's the first. You're tracking all the meetings day. every yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Point number one, every morning. Hello, Patele. how are you? Mm-hmm. How far? Mm-hmm. Where is the IP every time I'm talking to Major General Marsha for the guy to, you know, you know, to speed up. He gave me the number of the IP. I'm talking to them. Even now, they wanted to go there. I'm the one that now have to initiate and always accompany them. Where are these people? Mm-hmm. Can't find them. But of course... They're saying that they are conflicted and all that nonsense mm-hmm. that I don't really give a, a yep. damn about it. Mm-hmm. In honor of yeah. uh, Faitam Pasele, mm-hmm. what do you think uh, should be done and what is it that the EFF is going to do in honor of uh, Faitam Pasele, uh, particularly looking at the, um, the struggle that mm-hmm. he was involved in, uh, the fight to ensure that the people of um, Alexandra have houses? Look, what what I can say that we can we we, we can honor him. Mm-hmm. Uh, how can we honor him? Is that we must draw um, strength from his ex- activism. Mm-hmm. What well, the guy was, you know, a selfless guy. You know, Umpalele was an he was an easy person. Mm-hmm. If you say to him, no leader, this one you can't do, he'll just smile and say, ah, it's fine. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why he took her. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You know? And he loves his, his, his community. Mm-hmm. Uh, he fought for the people of, uh, you know, mm-hmm. of Alex. And and he was reachable. He led struggles there. He was an active. He was active. There was always an active, an activism. Um, he understood that. That's why when I was explaining that term, because mm-hmm. other people said that, what do you say that the person is, is an activist? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, yeah, they, uh, you know, when we're reading <laughs> yeah. these guidelines, it was just sure. now, you know, that's mm-hmm. why it's so hurtful. Is that I was talking, and then when I was looking around, I just saw him smiling, looking at me, you know, this, you know, he got this smile, mm. you know. And you know, I was, we were just having that third corner in front of, on, uh, like, you know, through the eyes. So he was an activist there, he worked for his, 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 his community, he was never, a, we must learn whether he's not a staff writer, so we must dread. We must draw that inspiration from him and learn from what he did. The only thing that is that we have to revisit how as fighters and as Gomista in terms of we must go back to activism. Mm-hmm. We must, I mean, uh, uh, go back to our words and you know, listen to the community, lead community struggles, be available, be amongst the, the branches of the EFF, uh, be amongst our people, help our people with strike that they have the struggle of occupying the land. Uh, struggle, service delivery struggle, like there's lack of water, there's, a lack, there's electricity load shedding, we mm-hmm. must go to municipality and ask them what is happening, when are they going to switch and on. Yeah. You saw some of the things we did. 
is that in Swan we doing our potholes mm-hmm. is that uh, you, you must have a love for, for your people you can't do this thing of EFF if you don't love the people mm, trust me course. you can't you you must uh, in love one with the people you must always say the, what can you do uh, 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 better every time you can't fake it because if you fake it you no know, you, you're just going to fall off the way that's why other people are resigning in the EFF I don't understand because it means that they don't understand the ideology of the EFF. Why they understand what it means to be an economic freedom fighter? Mm-hmm. It will be very difficult to say. I mean, say put them, you know, um, yeah, um, like on. I mean, I understand the ideology of the EFF. I don't know. I know what it is. I understand what's the program of the EFF. What is that? It seeks to achieve. What is the general mission? What is the attitude of EFF towards Amakwama communities? But we've been told that we must always be on the side of the community. We never go wrong. Mpatlele was like that. We must go back to that. Yeah. Even when he was not taken into council, you heard Tipot was saying, mm-hmm. guy was humble. And even when we're having a, you know, the caucus meeting, uh, you know, said, no, Mpatlele, wait. On, on the, you will wait. You never undermine, you know, a caucus. You know, like, I'm un- undermine and, you know, won't go this guy, become unruly and mm-hmm. all those things, you know, like, it was just he would just leave it and yeah. does his own thing, but you know that but he's have an interest of a of a man. Surely you'll miss him in council. No, we will definitely. His point of orders, you know. And uh, he would just say like uh, speaker of a point of order. <laughs> yeah. And they said uh, like raising I'm critical I'm issues. Be, I don't want to be told by those racist the DA people there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> how the time, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, so he was a person of that. You will feel him. Mm-hmm. You will feel him. Yeah, his you presence know. was hard yeah, to Yeah, you could feel him. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm, I'm like, you know, so shocked. And it's like unbelievable. It's like, it's like, no, people are going to say no, but this, you know, this may not happen. It's still even now unbelievable that just, just a senseless killing like that. But why? And then, and then some, somehow, Mm-hmm. Then my colleagues, they are sort of in the picture. They should have known better. That is what is hitting, you know, at home. Like, you know, uh, so we will really, really miss the Mpatlele. And even now, I just don't uh, believe. I mean, I was talking to his father. His father, you know, he seems fine. But, you know, but I know, you know, uh, you know, the d- deep down, he's, um, one thing he said to me, his father, was to say, Please get rid of that as a security. And number two, the people who authorized the throwing of the grenade. Mm-hmm. I'm following on, on, on the family's wishes. And the wishes of the fighters are saying that we're asking to find the person who has killed Mpale. We're doing everything we, we, we can in like in, in us like to in investigations and, and we're leaving any stone unturned and whoever is accountable must whoever is accountable must be responsible must, must be, held, be must know. be must be must be held accountable mm-hmm. it's something that you know the, the the reality is is sinking in you know as the time goes by but hey, this man is gone mm. and then you're discovering all this information as it comes through because that at the beginning was just too much information coming in you don't know how to act yeah and then now you're just getting overwhelmed and then now when you zoom mm. down into this information one could know but could have this been avoided? What was the rush? Yeah, and people cannot uh, uh, explain that. Mm-hmm. What's what's so for me? What's so irritating? Was saying that what does it take? Uh, my office myself to inform my officers that there are injuries. They, they were they were shocked like we we were in a mm-hmm. meeting. Mm-hmm. I said, I said what kind of mediocre is this? Mm. We must yeah. In, in, in the honor of Mpatlel in terms of on the department of council on Mpatlel, mm-hmm. something has got to give. And people must, in the in the rank and file of JMPD, mm-hmm. they must check if they really want to be officers and uh, they're committed or not. Okay, because this uh, this kind of a behavior in terms of, you know, wanting to leave and abandoning post, well, that one was an abandoned of post. Why can't you search for the scene? Write a report, call Amar. That's what that's a good procedure. Mm-hmm. Instead of calling Amar, Amar calls, okay, what's the report? They say, no, we are meeting our lawyers. What nonsense is that, bro? Meeting the lawyers for what? 
But Amari needs to be there and check. What are you running away from? Mm-hmm. No, when you're meeting the, your, your lawyers. I asked the Amari, Amar, the police, were you called? Yes, no, I wasn't called. And I asked for a report like that. No, no, I can't say anything now. We're meeting mm-hmm. the, the city's lawyer. Yeah. Why? If you're a responsible person and you're a responsible in the, in the individual, I mean, I've been running, I've been doing a lot of operations with the technical action units and I don't mm-hmm. get this kind of these issues because we will go on five, six, seven, these guys, and then they will knock off. Mm-hmm. If it's a, it's an overtime, they will issue overtime, they need to be signed by the HOD. So no, MMC was doing that. What's the rush with these ones? When mm-hmm. is five o'clock, he child of yeah. Noah. So yeah. that, that is what also we are saying, that there might be some duration of, of duties of which we must nip it in the, in the butt, in the honor yeah. of Mbatlen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. No, thank you very much, uh, Commissar, for coming through. Mm-hmm. And uh, we really wish you all the best as we work around the clock to ensure that we attain justice for fighter Mpatlele. Mm-hmm. And uh, we know absolutely that you're not going to rest until... Mm-hmm. Uh, justice is done mm. and uh, may his soul continue to rest in peace and uh, all the best and all the people involved in all these shenanigans in these senseless killings should really take us into confidence and account yes thank you very much mm. thanks for coming thank you Thank you very much, the people of South Africa, for watching. This is the EFF podcast. Uh, quite a very heavy uh, episode discussing the passing of uh, our fighter, uh, who has been laid uh, to rest. So please continue to subscribe to the EFF uh, YouTube channel for more on the EFF podcast. My name is Titus Tungu. Until we meet again, good. Go and get that.